What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the data mine for elves, for Elrond. Kind of talk about what you should be doing to prepare your elf roster for Elrond. Talk about how this is probably not going to be one that free to play is going to unlock on the first time around. We're going to break that all down today in this video. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's dive right into it. So first things first, shout out to Tana here on the data mine who uh, dug into the files here and found what we need for Elrond. And in here, there is a line about what we're going to require, what, what will be required for Elrond. And it will require at least five of the elven heroes, Arwen, Elodin, Elwer here. You can't see the rest there. But the big name here is very, very interesting is Elodin. Pretty much confirms that Elodin will be indeed part of of the uh of the elf faction and currently we have five elves in the game we have let me pull on over here we have arwens who event just showed up yesterday in the in the game we also have elver here lomian naramiri and leliel now this is where things are going to get challenging for your free to play because right now four of these elves are farmable and the other two elves are going to be Arwen and Elodin. And the way these things, this is going to work, and I guarantee this is exactly how it's going to work. Your best squad is going to be the four Rivendell elves, which is Elwer here, Lomian, Arwen, and Elodin, and then one of these other two elves. And if you don't have those four Rivendell elves, you have to bring in Naramiri and Leliel, and that is not going to be easy. Now, they also did, at the same time yesterday, make the elves much easier to farm. Elver here is now a guild mission farm. Uh, you can find him in guild 3-1. As you can see, I've been <laughs> I've been very busy farming up his shards. I dropped a whole lot of gems on campaign on guild campaign energy yesterday. And yeah, I'm already close to getting him to four stars. The other elf that moved into the guild campaign is gonna be Naramiri. And this one, it's a little unfortunate that he's in guild 2-1, which means that when I'm farming him, I can still get some of the of uh, the ability materials, but it's not going to be as much of a payout as Elro here. But if there's any two L, like honestly, if you're not going to be able to wail out on all four Rivendell elves for this team plus one other, my recommendation is go for Naramiri. Number one, he's a healer, so that he's going to be able to help kind of keep your uh, keep your team built up and sustained. You're going to have Leliel, but by everything we've seen, Elodin is going to be a tank, and Leliel is just kind of kind of duplicated there. So there's really no point in building her up. It, the unfortunate thing is you're going to have to build up one of these two elves that has no Rivendell synergy at all. And that's really unfortunate. If you can't go for a full Rivendell squad either, you've got to build up both of them. So my recommendation is if you are pushing to get Elrond unlocked on this first go around, Build up your four Rivendell Elves, which makes sense. Elwer here, Lomian, Arwen, and Elodin. And then, as you do the event, build up that fifth Elf just as much as you need to. And if you have, if you can't do all all four Rivendell Elves, well then, you have to do the same thing with Naramiri and Leliel. You gotta build them up just enough, because you don't want to throw a lot of gear on those two, because you're right now, there's no point in building up more gear for them. Now, that may change down the road, when we get like more Merkwood elves, or I think, I think, yeah, in the data mine, Legolas was also supposed to be coming. So, you know, maybe Legolas will be part of a Merkwood elf team, and maybe we'll see that with Naramiri and Leliel. But right now, it's one of those things where there's really, yeah, I mean, Elbro here makes sense, Lomia makes sense, Arwen makes sense. Like all three of those characters, those are going to be part of the Rivendell team. They all have the Rivendell tag. So build them up as you need to, and then the other two, you just, yeah, that it, it's, this one's going to be tricky for free-to-play, and I said this in my video yesterday, if you are free-to-play, do not go into the Elrond event expecting to unlock him the first time, and that's going to hold up here because you have two new marquee characters coming in with Arwen and Elodin. Now, you do get a free three-star for Arwen, and it's going to be the same thing here for, for Elodin. You do up to the tier four and you're getting 100 shards of Arwen, which then allows you to do this tier five, which gets you 50k gold and 15k character experience. And then if you really want to go, why is it green? Okay, I get, I guess that's new. 
Have I not noticed that before? Whatever. Um, anyways, yeah, tier six will get you 500k gold, 250k character experience, and also get you 10 of epic ability materials, which is a new ability material upgrade, which I have not noticed before, but whatever. So if you want to do tier six, you have to have to have a five star R win, which is going to be required anyways for the for Elrond. But what we will probably see, and this is what they usually do, is that about one to two weeks before Elrond's event goes live, your your newer characters for that required faction will then become uh, available to farm within the uh, within some campaign somewhere. And I've said that I said that in my video yesterday in that if you are free to play, your best option is to hoard gems. Now, that's going to be an issue here because you're going to have to farm up Leliel and Naramiri for sure. Lomian, uh, Lomian, I, I should have started farming him sooner, but you can see I'm doing I'm doing a couple refreshes on his hard note every single day to try and get that going. But uh, but yeah, this one, this one is going to be this one's going to be challenging for sure for free to play. And if you're looking to spend money to get around this first turn, this first time with the Rivendell squad plus one other elf, you're probably looking at about $100 to $200 of spending to make sure you get uh, you get them unlocked. Now, we'll also probably see a pack that drops during the Elrond event, which gives you shards of elven characters, which is, that's that's normal for CG. But yeah, at the, at the end of the day, Elro here and Naramiri both guild battle campaigns, and those are both pretty easy to farm. You can farm those as much as you want, as long as you have the guild campaign energy. And the shards drop at a pretty solid rate as well. It's about a 50% drop rate on those on those campaign missions, and you get two shards each time. So yeah, I mean this is this is a pretty good one. And I mean Elro here five five shadow hard. That's gonna take a long time to farm. They did nerf the difficulty of that a little bit. But still, that's that's quite a ways away for a lot of people. And Naramiri, I think, used to be like way later in the campaign, but now Guild Campaign 2 1 for him. Leliel is let's see what Leliel is at. She's at Shadow 3 9, so that's a little bit later. That's gonna be a bit more difficult for you to farm as well for free to play. Shadow, Shadow Campaign 3 is annoying. Chapter 3 9 normal is awful. I can't imagine what Shadow 3 9 hard is. And I'm working on Shadow 4 right now and I hate every second of it. So I can't I can't imagine what Shadow 3 hard is gonna be is, is like. I don't I don't even want to think about that right now. But yeah that's kind of where we're at right now. You know farm up your elves. Elra here and Naramiri both easy farms in the guild campaign. Lomian's an early farm. Arwen is gonna be marquee but if you are free to play and you don't want to buy her packs when she goes live then you better start by, uh, hoarding those gems because you're gonna need to you're gonna need to farm her ASAP whenever she uh, goes as farmable in the game. She will be she'll probably farm. I hope I'm hoping they make her an Elden farmable like at least a few weeks before Elrond's everyone Elrond's uh, legendary event drops. But we'll we'll see how that all pans out. But uh, that's gonna kind of wrap it up here. If you guys have any questions, concerns, thoughts, ideas. Anything like that, drop them down below in the comment section. Again, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.